Welcome back, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Yes. We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. <laughs> Loading. Give me some story bits. No more of that other stuff. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. Ugh. Started. It's probably nothing. <clears throat> it didn't even do anything. Lots of stuff. And more loading. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. Hmm. A little freezer ships. This oh. golden energetic fish. Ooh, hello. What it, no, give me that. Mine. Sorry. This is blue. <laughs> we got a keeper. Ooh, free stuff. <laughs> we got a keeper. Found some tasty looking food. It isn't that I don't think we're capable of winning. I just can't seem to shake this terrible feeling. Just promise me one thing. Don't go getting yourself killed. If you die on us, then the Dragon Balls are history. Hmm. Fate. That's right. We're fishing again, folks. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to this. All right. You slipped. Wait, wait, wait. Take this. That's not a golden fish. <laughs> Get a load of that! That to me. Sure am ready to eat this fish. <laughs> this one looks pretty tasty. Where'd you get the golden fish? Howdy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Tell us down here. Look at the shine on this thing. Ah, okay. It's delicious. Sure am ready to eat this fish. That was easier than before. Quite deep. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. objective. Coconuts? He said coconuts. Coconut, no, my coconuts! Ah! And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. She wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. It's Trunks. That boy <clears throat> was a young Trunks. The child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. And Piccolo. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. 
Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. in the city is it the androids could be but there's no way to tell from here hey what gives i couldn't sense their power at all Th that's it they're androids which means we can't sense their energy y you're kidding right where could they be if we can't sniff them out and we're just gonna have to hunt them down. On the hunt. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go. Why is my mouse up there? Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Okay, drive the car. No. Fine. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Trillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? What is that? What is this symbol? What does that mean? That was the card game. Maybe one of the other I never actually played the card game. At least not that one. I played the old one on Game Boy Advanced. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Tian Shen Han. I'm not gonna use that. Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Whoa! I just felt a huge drop in someone's <clears throat> energy. It's Yamcha. It's always Yamcha. Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tie, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! Kill the Marshmallow. Get him. Me. Mm. Alright, level up. Oh, alright. We will allow you to choose the place of your death. You're not gonna talk. You have to talk later. It's mandatory. Uh huh. So many loading screens, but they're short. Wait a minute. How did they know our names? 
Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But they know about all of us as well. Part 10, level 12. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed Aww. the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. That's not the storyline. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble because guess what? You missed the best part. What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well, then, what do you say? See what he's got, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's good. Brutal. See the effects from him being damaged. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Absorb the attack? Goku, don't fire any <coughs> energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. <sighs> absorb the attacks. <clears throat> Give me a break. What what's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? 
You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Goku's not very smart. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? It wasn't bacon flavor. Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? And boot. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta. I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the sensu bean. I've got more sensu beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Over there! Dad? Goku! Goku. The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No. Somebody needs to get him out of here. And give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. At least he knows. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Why that voice? Why? Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know. The full extent of your fighting prowess. Why is that voice? Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? Yearned for nothing more than greater power and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan. That might be oppressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Her changed. Level up, level up, level up. Yeah. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this. Speed. No. There it is. <laughs> oh no. Chain blows there. Nice. 
Oh, you got hit by the last one. Doesn't matter. I uh, can't absorb all that. Oh no. For all physical. Not what I want to do, but whatever. It worked. Expect a little bit. Let's finish here. 
Sure. I have it in full force. Spike, but that makes it more fun. Take this. Have a taste of Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. <laughs> Where's the doing, doing, doing? No, doing, doing, doing. I feel cheated. up a lot of my power if you want to take me down now's your chance come at me your power may have exceeded my initial calculations but it's still not enough to defeat us androids <laughs> we're not going anywhere he's ready get him i'm going too i want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes yeah count me in too me too fine but don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror. Payload the others head out in search of the crafty Android 20, which is Dr. Jarrow, by the way. Why are you calling him Android 20? Unfortunately, they aren't able to catch him and instead only ended up wasting time. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. You don't want to make me go around and ask people. Of course, game. Uh, of course. Can't sense his energy. This will be tricky. Yeah, I should have stuck together, honestly. Etienne, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. I'll get down. No sign of him having left this rocky area. It's more than likely hiding somewhere. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. Ooh. The energy from this thing is in Gohan. You find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Hmm. <laughs> Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. calling your comrades now your energy will be all mine go, go on androids get over here uh, uh, mr piccolo over there <laughs> you're as good as dead <laughs> How did 
did they find me? <laughs> Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a senzu bean! The fight. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. Okay, that means all your things are back. Don't wait. Can't remember the original games. Mm, what do I got here? Don't hit me. Spamming now, isn't he? Heal. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? <laughs> All right, uh, listen to you. Fine. Putting on his little absorption mode. We plenty of openings. We can only the tip of the iceberg. Ah. Get all the episodes, pick it up.
Wait. These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? <laughs> Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. He doesn't know his dad. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like... The androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jiro. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what did they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. He pushed the Goku button. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan, too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going to. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? 
What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? <clears throat> Tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay. Be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry! We've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. But you know, that's the end of this one. We'll see you next time when Android 17 and 18 get revealed. Bye bye.